Pete, I'm going to start with you. And can you give us any kind of tips on what kinds of things you could be sending out in your emails as far as for your own agency? For your own agency. Well, first of all, can I just uh, let me just talk about how to stay consistent with it? And the well, then we'll we'll switch. I'll give you that okay. question. I'll give Dave the other one. Oh, all right, that works for me. All I was all I was going to say was batching. If you batch it, so if you've got if you're sending out weekly emails, you've got four emails a month to write. Stick aside two or three hours, one you know on the first Monday of the month, whatever it might be, and just hammer them out. Get them, get them. They don't have to be perfect, but get them teed up the first the first one that's going to go that one needs to be um in probably slightly better shape than the others but then get them out and then if you planned in time just to review literally just before you hit the send button that would be the um that would be what i'd uh, that, that's the way i do it anyway and that, that's the way i do a lot of my content my podcasts are exactly the same um batch it and then and then sort of review before shipping the other thing i would say is it's really important to have that review process before uh, before you schedule something so um, you know, we, I, I once held some content back for 24 hours just because there was uh, a terrorist attack down in London. And actually it just seemed a bit insensitive for me just to push something out for my business, just because mm. I always do it on a Monday and this had happened right. on a Monday. Yeah, so I, I, I do have the, the uh, I, I, it's, it's not always the day I, I'm going to send it out. And in that instance, I did manage to catch it, but the, um, I, I do have sort of a check that is far closer to, to the, the piece of content going out just it, it just makes me feel better about it personally 